So I can see people joining. I think we will wait up to two minutes again to let the people arrive. One more minute, then uh, we will start. Maybe let's wait a little bit longer because I see people joining. So let's, yeah, let's give another two more minutes and then we start. Okay. Or we get one more minute. I think we have reached, uh, we can stop now. Okay, one, are you ready? Then we will stop now. Hello everyone, welcome back to the second day of the user conference and our second session today. My name is Anvu and I'm here to present our next speaker and my colleague here in Frankfurt, uh, Mr. Juan Macano. Uh, for those who haven't seen the, his presentation before. And I will shortly show a slide. So this is my colleague, Mr. Juan Macano. He is our own uh, JMAC expert at PowerSys. He, today he will present uh, how to create a geometry template in JMAC using Python scripting. Please welcome Mr. Juan Macano. Juan, can you share your screen? So hello everybody. Thanks again for attending to this uh, second uh, Called a second using the uh, second speaker today for me. Uh, today we'll be talking about creating a geometric template in JMAC using Python scripting. My name is Juan Marcano, and for those who didn't attend to the first uh, speaking, uh, my, I, I am based also in Frankfurt here with my colleague Ambu. And uh, this is today a live demonstration of a feature that is uh, probably not very well known for everybody that use uh, JMAC. Uh, very well. So I'd like to share my screen. So the approach today is more or less to show you what is the procedure that uh, includes to use uh, Python scripting to create your customer. Uh, when you are in presentation mode, uh, we, we just see the screen smaller. Uh, can you? Oh, I uh, probably chose the wrong. Yes, choose the just right window. Second. Yeah. Okay. Can you see here? Mm. Okay. Here. Yes, that's correct. Okay. That's the correct one. So, uh, is it work if I put them 
presentation mode? Yes, yeah. that's working. Okay, perfect. Thank so you. the approach today is more or less to show you what is the procedure to use a Python scripting to create your geometry templates. Within JMAC, we have the possibility to create or to use the user templates that are already predefined when you install the software. So those templates can be used either for 2D or 3D models. And usually the functions that define the geometries are already defined within the scripting that, uh, that, that is used for, for that specific geometry. So we can use different uh, templates to create either magnet modeling, stator modeling, rotor modeling. And as I said, it is uh, possible to use those templates to create 2D or 3D geometry. The geometry templates help the user to set individual variables to specific constraints that can later on be used for a further parametric analysis. So on the left side, we see a small uh, uh, picture showing what, how, how exactly um, a template looks when it is displayed in JMAC. And on the right side is the preview that is generated when we plot the geometry uh, edition. So the objectives of this presentation is basically to understand the basic procedure of using a Python template for automated generation of geometries. Also to learn some, uh, some of the basic API functions that are used to create these geometries and uh, ultimately to create a basic geometry using the templates. So one of the important uh, points to be noticed here is that to be able to create the geometries that we want to work with using JMAC and Python scripting, uh, we are uh, required to use the API functions that are especially designed for JMAC geometry editor. Okay, these API functions are easily uh, are available and easily uh, accessible using the JMAC help desk. When we go to contents under parameter explanation, we go into the geometry editor and into the mesh part, we find user defined template API functions and samples. This is a document that includes all the explanation on how each API function works for geometry edition and for geometry creation such as creating uh, lines, such as creating curves, creating edges, creating uh, edge lists and bodies and changing the colors of your design and so on. All these functions are available in this user manual and it's, as I said, easily accessible from the, uh, the help, uh, help desk menu from JMAX Designer. I will show you how to access them. So this is more or less how a Python scripting for JMAC uh, geometry edition looks like, uh, of course, with, with very few definitions inside. And it's divided in different, uh, uh, in a structure that is as shown in this list. So for the geometry template structure, the first part that we have to take into account is the definition of the geometry feature. In here, we will determine uh, what are, for example, if we are designing a rotor, if we are designing a magnet, this is the definition of the geometry feature that we are talking about. After that, we have to add variables to that geometry feature. So let's say that for the, uh, the, the, the magnet creation, let's say in this case, we want to work with the length of the magnet and the thickness of the magnet, let's say. Those are two variables that we want to add to our definition of this feature. Then we have to set labels for those variables. So it is simply assigning names to those variables. Uh, ultimately, we will set groups for the edit panel. This is when we want to have several geometries in the same compound of geometry feature. Let's say that we want to design a rotor uh, entirely defined by the core uh, steel and also the magnet. It is possible to create a group for each part. Let's say one part will be the, the, the core steel and then the other part will be the magnet. Uh, another optional thing is to define local variables as needed. So let's say we want to work with distances, with uh, um, nominal values of distances and so on. This is uh, easily done by defining local variables. We can also start uh, the next, uh, the next uh, step is to create uh, basically all the edges that will compose our design. So JMAC is able to create uh, lines, to create circles, to create ellipses, to create any type of uh, geometry entity that later on can be uh, assigned to an edge list, which is the next step. 
in this edge list we will contain in each edge list we will include all the lines that compose a body or or a sketch and then later after creating the edge list we can create a body list made of different edge lists that contains uh, the, the the bodies of, of for, for for creating the regions that we will assign materials to and in the end of the script, it is necessary to delete the list to release the memory of the compiler, okay? Some of the API functions that are available for use uh, within JMAC are as shown in, in, this, uh, in this slide. Let's say one of them is the curve creation, which is have to provide a position. We can provide the type of, of, uh, of entity that we are creating, in this case is an edge and uh, all the arguments that will be uh, assigned to this function, uh, we can assign it to a list of arguments and then just include it in our definition of the curves just as shown in here, okay? It is the same procedure for a line creation, for an edge, uh, for, a, for a circle creation and so on. After creating, as I said, after creating each uh, component, that will form a geometry let's say the magnet in this case we we want like three lines to compose our magnet we have to create an edge list containing all those three lines that then later on will be used to create the region defining that magnet so for the edge list creation we have simply to create an edge list and add all the lines that compose that uh, that region or that geometry okay and later on use this edge list to create a region based on those lines and that region will be ultimately will define the geometry we want to work more api functions as i said is uh, are available using the help desk and the document that i mentioned before and you can easily access it by the path i mentioned so we will now run a live example on how to do so we will try to create a very small and simple geometry of a rotor and a magnet using a python script for that, we go and refer directly to JMAC. As I said before, when we create a model, let's simply save this. Documents. So when we create a model, we are able to go directly to the geometry editor. On the right side, we have the geometry library. Basically, all these elements that we see in the geometry library are predefined templates that you can use by just dragging and dropping. So let's assume that I want to work with a 2D model of the rotor, and then we say a permanent magnet, and just dragging and dropping. We are able to see on the left side in the model manager, we are able to see how the how this template works so here is the definition of the variables that we want and we have basically uh, the conditions that will uh, govern the creation of this geometry okay we are not able to edit this uh, scripting here however we are able to import our own uh, our own templates and use them as we want okay uh, the template generally should be able to uh, to modify the geometry by simply changing the values on the variables setting tool tab from the left side. So let's say if we want to change here the, uh, let's say the magnet thickness from 4.5 to five, it should be changed automatically. And that is how a template should work. Of course, the process of creating a template uh, sometimes can be very complex because the idea is that we, we have to understand, um, first of all, how the geometry works and what parameters we want to parameterize. In this case, we have here uh, dmac, tmac, for example, or wmac. Those values are values that are manually set and that later on can be used for the definition of a case, for the definition of a uh, let's say a parametric study and so on okay so let's assume that we want to create a geometry based on this so by importing or creating our own uh, geometry templates we should have to we only have to create a sketch uh, to this sketch sorry not this one 
we insert a 2D sketch. And from the 2D sketch, we will add a template feature and we go to user defined region template. As you can see, when we use the geometry template we, or the region template, there is nothing displayed here and there are no regions that are created. This is because we have not loaded anything to the uh, Python scripting. So when we click to in edit script, the user defined template is uh, uh, ed uh, scripting editor is open and here we are able to either write ourselves the, the code that will define our geometry or we can use a simple uh, or uh, an already generated uh, Python script containing all the functions that will describe the geometry we want to create. Uh, we have to also again clarify that the functions to define this geometry have to be the ones uh, 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 described in the API functions and those ones you can just show them from here we go to content we go parameter explanation oh, sorry <clears throat> we go here <clears throat> into the help desk. We go under parameter explanation. We go under geometry editor. And here we see the user defined API template functions. This is a PDF file that you can download. You can also dig in a little bit here. And then here all the functions are described to obtain values to copy, to delete, and then also to create uh, 2D geometries or 3D geometries. In this case, we can go to 2D geometries and we see here how to create, for example, a line, how to create an arc based on a radius and a start radius and an arc center. So there are basically many functions that can be used for the definition of our geometries. Uh, it is necessary to go in deep and understand how the objects are created, how the variables are created and which type of variables are we using in the generation of a Python script. So I have worked with a simple geometry here. I have created this uh, geometry template, including all the variables that will be used to describe my rotor with my magnet. So I have written this in an external program, Notepad++, and here I'm defining all my regions and all the lines. And basically what I can do is use that Python scripting and import it here into my uh, the scripting editor within JMAP. Okay, so the file uh, to import, basically to import a geometry editor or a geometry template, we go under file and then import, and then from here, we check in the function tutorial, the curve magnet, and we click play, and the geometry is automatically created based on the definition of our geometry template. As said, this is a very simple geometry. We, if we change, for example, the radius here, we change it to 100, we, it should be able to change automatically. shaft radius, we say, I don't know, 30. Everything should be modified automatically. So if we want to change here the distance from the magnet to the pole edge, we say, I don't want eight, I want something smaller, let's say two. And the magnet thickness, I want it to be eight. Okay. So you see that the geometry should be entirely dynamic. I can add as many or I can define as many parameters inside this geometry as I want. However, uh, one has to be very careful because when defining this type of geometries, you have to, uh, to respect different uh, constraints that will then apply to your geometry. So there are some limits here that are not valid for the creation of the geometry. So if I, if, if, if I define a model which is not, um, not uh, defined well in terms of the, geomet of, of the geometric values that I want, then the geometry will collapse and it will not be created, okay? So once I use the, the Python script that I want to, to, to perform 
in the creation of my geometry. I just click play and then the geometry is already loaded here. And when I close it, I am able to import this geometry into the, into the JMark editor. I should be able to see here two basic geometries, one for the core and one for the magnet. And I can easily work on them when I import them to the JMAC editor. So once I go back here to JMAC designer, I import my model and the geometry is easily created. I can modify here the names. Again, there are API functions that will save you time when, when changing, for example, the name here, I say magnet and then, no, this is uh, core, for example, and this is magnet. I can easily, for example, change the color here of the rotor core and change it to steel. And then the magnet also, I can change the color, let's say to blue. And this is how it works, the creation of the geometry. There are some other features here that we can uh, show. I can also combine my own created uh, geometry templates with the ones that are already embedded in JMAC. And for that, it is simply, the idea is to simply use the geometries that we have. Let's say this is uh, the same geometry I created. And if I want to use, for example, the rotor description that is already here on, on the geometry templates, uh, I can do so. And all the variables will be already described. And I am basically using the geometry I created. This is a very simple process. It's a very nice feature that, uh, that not everybody knows. However, it requires practice because it's not that simple, but it is uh, very useful for those who want to automate the creation of geometries based on their own designs. And if they don't want to work with ex external uh, geometry editors or CAD functions. So I think this is basically what I wanted to show today. And uh, does anybody have any questions regarding the process here on how to create a geometry using Python templates? Or Thank you, Juan. Uh, we will switch now to uh, questions. So far, we have no questions. Um, so if anyone has anything to comment or a question, please ask them now. Seems everything is clear and no one has a question. In any case, if anybody has any question later on, the uh, questions can be done after the session and uh, we can go back to you with the answers if you have any, any query regarding this feature from JMAP. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. I think uh, that was it. And uh, I would like to thank everybody for attending to this presentation. And uh, I encourage you to follow the next presentations that will take place at 3 p.m. Yeah, I can show and, the schedule. Yeah. Um, so, so we will go into the break now at uh, 3 p.m. We will have a PCM implementation of dynamic model of free phase induction. Speaker is Danilo Camuglia from the University of Catania. Uh, at 4 p.m. we have additively manufactured copper windings, calculation process, optimization potential by Dr. Jacob Young uh, from the TU Freiberg. He's also uh, the CEO of his own startup, uh, Additive Drives. So very interesting topics. Yeah, okay. excellent. So, okay. I think that's it then. Uh, thank you very much for attending. Okay. And I hope we will see you in this afternoon again. Thank you very much for paying attention to this presentation and hope to see you later on further presentations. Have a nice afternoon.